Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. It is a Tuesday, which is why I am using the Mystic Mondays tarot, uh, a tarot that I very seldom actually use on a Monday. Uh, for some reason today, on this very rainy, very cold Tuesday in South Africa, it uh, wanted to come out and play. So here it is, the Mystic Mondays tarot on a Tuesday. It has been so rainy today that I wasn't able to record at my usual time, so I'm doing this much later than usual. Uh, deluge, absolute deluge, very loud on a tin roof. And uh, so I had to wait. Uh, so there will only be one reading today, and apologies for that and for the lateness of this reading. But I'm going to do a quick reading on that meeting, that infamous meeting between the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, and the Harkles back over the Jubilee weekend, the meeting where allegedly the Queen said no chance when the Harkles asked that they could get a photograph of her and Lilibet. Apparently they took their own photographer along, and lots of people suspect that that was Miss and Harriman, and uh, all very rude and very cheeky. And um, apparently the meeting only lasted for 15 minutes and was very formal. So we're going to be looking at the meeting now using the Mystic Mondays Tarot, a seven card reading. We're going to see uh, the energy of the meeting, the tone of the meeting, what the Harkles wanted from it or how they felt about it, their expectations. The Queen, we're going to ask that uh, in this question, was there really a baby there? Was baby Lilibet actually present at the meeting? How did the Queen really feel about the photographer showing up uh, with the demand for the photo, how the relationship was before between the Queen and the Harkles and how it is as a result of this meeting. And uh, we're getting the underlying uh, card is the Justice card. Uh, fairness, um, just desserts, um, a balance, Equilibrium is always a very positive card for me. It's one of my favorite cards, the Justice card. It's good karma, it's getting what you deserve, reaping what you sow. Uh, but it's balanced, it's even, it's a very good energy. Uh, it's a card that I quite often associate with the Queen that she does seem to be very even-handed, very fair in her dealings with people, very measured. Um, she thinks the things through. She obviously has to. She can't just have knee-jerk reactions to things like us mere mortals can, and we can afford to do that uh, and be mean-spirited and petty and all the rest of it when we feel like it. But she's got to really um, take the higher path, a, a, a greater, a bigger perspective on things. And I think that that is why the Justice card has shown up. So let us see what the tone of the meeting was. Our first card of the seven card reading. Ooh, uh, it's pretty opposite to that uh, justice card judgment in reverse. Uh, that's not a good energy at all. Um, that is uh, prejudgment, uh, pre-decision making. Uh, no second chance. The judgment card is often a second chance card. Yes, you can have a do-over. Yes, you can come back, we'll forgive you, and you can try again. Um, it is also an awakening card. When the trumpet sounds and the graves open and the dead rise to be judged, it is a form of awakening. But the card is in the reverse. So we have poor decision making. We have you are not coming back and you are, haven't woken up. It's a major arcana. We've got two major arcana sitting here that are both about legal process, both about the law, um, both about decisions and fairness and dispensing justice. Two major arcana have come out here. I think that they were told some home truths about their behavior and their role in the royal family henceforth. Perhaps some unpleasant um, truths about uh, things like councillor of state, things like coming back half in, half out, that kind of thing. I don't think that what they heard was pleasant, was music to their ears. I think it was quite shocking. Uh, for all that I said, the Queen is even handed. She is meeting out justice here. She wouldn't have been unpleasant about it, but I think the news 
that was given to the Harkles was unpleasant. You won't be getting the balcony, you won't be getting the front row at St Paul's, you won't be getting your uh, military role back, you may not be Councillor of State for much longer, you are not going to be a working royal, not while I am Queen, not while your father is King and so on and so on. I think this was really quite shocking to the Harkles. Let us see what they went into the meeting wanting, expecting, hoping for. How did they feel about it? Two of Swords. Uh, uh, indecision here. Uh, not quite sure. Uh, 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 at a crossroads. The Two of Swords is always a crossroads car a card. You reach a place where you have to make a decision, but you don't quite know which way to turn and you're waiting for a sign. Uh, they got the sign with a judgment card in reverse, but I think that they went in um, torn between two possible future outcomes for themselves, torn between going back into the royal family as working or semi-working royals, always a role that the Queen said no to, she was emphatic about that, or giving it all up and going back to California and putting it behind them, burning bridges, exploding the relationship, writing read books about the royals and so on, playing polo. Um, and living their best life in California. And of course, we saw that that was the outcome. Um, Prince Harry in particular, allegedly, according to Neil Sean, was the one that upped and offed in a hump, in a hump and in a huff, that's the word, in a strop. And uh, Meghan was the one, allegedly, according to Neil Sean, who wanted him to stick around. Uh, interesting perspective. And uh, so that's the Harkles. How did Her Majesty the Queen feel about this meeting? What was she expecting, hoping for, feeling about it before? Three of Wands in reverse. She wasn't looking forward to it. Um, the Three of Wands is a waiting card, uh, waiting for your ships to come and waiting for uh, the seeds that you have sown to really bear fruit, uh, to bring back the goods. Uh, but she's given up waiting with the Three of Wands in reverse. She's not waiting for them anymore. She's fed up with waiting for them uh, to make up their minds to decide what they want. She has moved on. Three of Wands in reverse. Uh, the relationship is failing. It's shrinking. Their role in the royal family is shrinking. Their influence in the royal family is shrinking. It's an expansion card when it's upright. Things are growing. Plans are growing. Businesses are growing. Ideas are growing. Relationships are growing. But when it's in the reverse, it's withering. It's it's closing down. It's shutting down. Similar enemy energy to the judgment card in reverse. You're not getting another chance at this. You had your chance and it's over. It's not an it's not a nasty card, but it is uh, it, it, it is pretty devastating nevertheless, I would say. She had some devastating news for them which they were not expecting. Uh, was there a child there, a one-year-old, a baby little bit? Was there a child that was taken on that meeting? Allegedly it was on the Thursday of the Jubilee weekend. Was there a child there? <laughs> oh dear, we get the devil. We get the devil. Ah, with the horns and the stairs leading up to the mind. It's a very interesting depiction of the devil, this, because it is about what's going on in someone's mind. Um, poisonous energy, lies. The devil is all about lies. And I have to say at this point that there is a disclaimer in the box below. And the disclaimer is to the effect that this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes. And this is all just my personal opinion. And please do your own research, form your own opinions. But according to me and my opinion and the cards that I am reading, there are a lot of lies around a situation. I would say no child there, no child there. Uh, we lie, we've been lied to about it, a lot of toxicity, a lot of duplicity. There is a game going on here. It's a very toxic game. It's a very dangerous game. Very, very, very dangerous game. And I'm not surprised now to see the justice card there. The soul being weighed, the heart being weighed against the feather and found wanting in this case because of the judgment card in reverse. 
kicked out, told their futures, told their fortunes, very politely, I'm sure, 15 minutes. This is the way it's going to be. I'm laying down the law and uh, our relationship is closing down. It is not growing. Um, how did the Queen feel about the idea of a photographer coming along? And I feel that this is a very weird question to ask because I keep getting that there was no child around. Um, but I am asking it anyway. The Queen feel about being asked if there could be a Lilibet meets Lilibet photo, perhaps a photoshopped photo. Who knows how this was all going to work out. But we've been told, the Queen said, no chance. I would think she probably said something a lot stronger than that. But no chance is the, the uh, quote that the newspapers have been given to feed to us. How did she feel about this suggestion? The King of Pentacles in reverse, no chance. Um, the King of Pentacles is when it's upright is a leadership card it's very um doing the right thing kind of energy solid reliable it's a very prince harry card the way he's depicted here with that beard in his suit um uh, the earth sign uh, man the leader but it's in the reverse it is the a, a negative energy of that earth sign man um, acting out in his shadow energy doing all the wrong things being unreliable being duplicitous uh, being erratic irresponsible um, a poor leader also probably in some financial trouble because the king of pentacles is all about money um, and earning a good living he's a good father a good provider he's a good businessman uh, he's got his head screwed on um, when it comes to money and planning and all that kind of stuff it's in reverse someone in financial trouble someone who is a wastrel a scoundrel somebody who has got problems somebody who cannot be trusted cannot be counted on uh very curious cards showing up in this reading anyway um let's have a look at how the relationship was before this meeting the relationship between the harkles and the queen what was going on five of pentacles harkles in exile it was a broken relationship um uh, very much uh, female energy coming through in this particular five of pentacles her decision making her plans her decision uh, to leave uh, to storm off to Canada and then to California she didn't like being in the royals she couldn't make the money she thought that she would be able to make as a working royal um, she didn't feel that she was with uh, included in the family she felt she was treated differently she felt she was outcast picked on uh, not loved not welcomed and so off she went there's the five of pentacles a very clear energy of how the relationship was in the lead up to this meeting outcasts exile financially um uh, in financial difficulties as well the five of pentacles is a card of tremendous financial difficulty harkles and trouble over there how is the relationship now how is the relationship when they left when they went back to frogmore cottage um, how is it now the relationship between the harkles and the queen knight of pentacles it's not doing well it's stalled the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving card. It is about slow motion, but slow, steady progress forward. Um, solid progress. You're on the path. You're on the path to some a productive and lucrative uh, end point. Uh, it's again an earth sign male, but now a prince. We've had a king energy earth sign. Now we're reduced to a prince. A knight is a prince in tarot. Prince Harry in reverse. Prince Harry on the wrong path. Prince Harry stopped in his tracks because when the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, that slow progress becomes no progress, not moving forward. I've got that energy twice now in this reading. The relationship really has stalled and Prince Harry is no longer on that path. Uh, as part of the royal family he is now off that path very clearly off that path already in the back in the um historical energy in the past energy there was some doubt some uh, indecision about where their future lay harry and megan but it clearly as a result of this meeting does not lie with the royals it does not lie in the uk it lies elsewhere i don't think they have a very clear idea of where it does lie right now but it does not lie with 
the royal family and the message was conveyed to them by the queen herself in that meeting. Very difficult, very strange meeting. Very toxic energy. Uh, no, no, no truths being told about at least one very important aspect of that meeting, which was Lilibet meeting Lilibet. Oh, as I say, very strange. The rain is starting to pour down again. And so a very good time to stop for the day. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll be able to get some quiet readings to you tomorrow.